Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Black Butler, Chapter 147. Uh, when we last left off, Ciel, Sebastian, and the gang uh, were hiding around the streets of London trying to get out of town so they could escape to, like, Germany to go hide with Diedrich for a while. Um, and after a series of misadventures of nearly getting caught by Scotland Yard, they were in the London sewers where they ran into Lau and... Lao's lady, whose name I don't remember. I'm sure y'all remember her name better than I do. You know, you all remember who it is during the chapter. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, that's where we left off. Uh, before we get to the chapter itself, just a reminder, I have my winter uh, anime review straw poll in the description down below. So fill that out. Let me know what you want me to review next anime season starting in January, which is only a little while away. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, so yeah, we're jumping right on in. To 147, The Butler in Chinoiserie, uh, which I looked up before the chapter. It has something to do with, like, Western use of Chinese motifs, I think, and, like, fashion. Uh, anyway, so we open, open right where we left off uh, with Sebastian, uh, Ciel, and the servants finding um, Lao in the uh, sewers. I know my words. Uh, Sebastian, like, looks at Lao. You're... I've found the chap with the price on his head. Lao. Are you and your Shanghai crime syndicate planning of being Scotland Yard now? Um, the servants all like, look on tensely. I'd be delighted to sit on anybody's lap so long as there was money involved. Who they are doesn't matter to me. Meow meow. In any case, you surprised me, Earl. All those airs and graces, but you pulled off quite an audacious gambit. Uh, and see, Elge like, looks at him. Now Ron Mao, that's her name, Ron Mao. Time to hunt. Uh, Ron Mao gets out like some kind of, I don't, it's, it looks almost like Chinese lanterns, but like as part of a weapon, I don't know what they are. Anyway, Ron Mao gets out ready to fight. Yes, brother. Uh, and Sebastian like uh, guards CL, like pushes him back. Young master, stay back. Uh, and Ron Mao charges at Sebastian. Uh, but Sebastian jumps out of the way of her lantern attack. You're a look at, uh, oh, and uh, Baldroy, however, gets hit with a bit of, like, debris. The, the lantern, like, hits the ground, and some, like, rubble, like, hits him. You're a looker, little lady, but you're crazy strong. Uh, and Ron Mal, like, gets right up in his face. So fast. Mr. Company President, I'll treat you real special. Huh? Everyone just, like, breaks down. I don't know what's going on there. Why is Baldroy a company president? Huh? Wh what? Uh, and, and, uh, Lau just starts laughing. <laughs> goodness, Ron Mao, not that. Uh, and Baldroy, like, looks from, uh, Ron Mao to Lau. Uh, huh? Uh, and we're, we now cut to later, seemingly in Ron Mao's base. So here we are. Welcome to my Shangri-La. I happened to overhear the yard was after you, so I rushed to take advantage of the chance to put the Earl in my debt. I knew it. When last last month I was like, there's no way Lau was gonna turn us in. I don't think this was gonna happen. And I was right. Um so anyway, uh there's this, we see these like odors like wafting through the space, and Snake is not too happy about it. Ugh, the strange smell is making me dizzy, says Oscar. Uh and Lau turns to him. What an awful thing to say. Thanks to this fragrance, everyone here can have sweet dreams. Um, we see, uh, some men, like, lounging around, uh, seemingly asleep. Uh, Sebastian looks at them all. Dreams, hmm. Uh, and then some, like, the waitresses, I guess, are with- I don't know what the best name for them would be. Uh, all come around to Lau. Boss, shall, shall I prepare- shall I prepare tobacco for your guests? First comes bath and a change of clothing, and a meal as well. Understood. Right this way- Sir, oh, sir, the, the font was weird. I couldn't quite read it. Right this way, sir. Take this off. And he, like, she, like, goes to, like, remove his coat. Huh? As a uh, Baldroy, they're all up to, I should say. Huh? R really? Uh, and Mayrin turns to him. What bizarre things are running through your head, hmm? Please, no need to be shy. And they're, they're, they're trying to flirt with Sebastian, and Sebastian is, like, not ready for it. No, I'm quite all right. Uh, I, well, I can take my own clothes off. Is that Baldroy, I think? We, uh, this... I'm on Comixology, and it's not letting me uh, do a one-page reader thing, so I'm trying to, like, squint through the two-page thing. Uh, but whatever. Uh, and then some time passes, uh, and we cut to Lau 
Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, and the gang is all dressed up in, like, traditional Chinese wear. You all look marvelous. They're all either, like, nonplussed or, like, Baltimore's got a bit of a smirk on there. And then we have uh, Mei Rin over here who's, like, blushing uncontrollably, un uncontrollably because of how short her skirt is. I'm glad we, have, we had something big enough for you. He turns to uh, Sebastian. You stink like sewer rats. It really does suit you. Very kind of you to say. Uh, and Ron Mao peeks her head in. The food is ready. Uh, we head to this lavish feast uh, laid out before uh, the gang. Wow, looks delicious, says Emily. Uh, and Lau comes up to monologue some more. <laughs> from the flavor to the variety, you'll find these dishes off th these dishes quite different from your English cooking that taste only of salt and pepper. Please enjoy our Chinese cuisine, a tradition 4,000 years in the making. Uh, and Sebastian like does a little head bow to uh, Lau. Mr. Lau, we are grateful for your kindness on this occasion. Come now, Master Butler. I never said I was doing this for free. The Earl is now in my debt, seeing as I've rescued him from his biggest crisis. At some point on the, in the future, I'll call in the debt with interest, so there's no reason for you to stand on ceremony here. And Sebastian kind of like looks down. Well, what is it you've done, Earl? Uh, and... Uh, so I guess Lau does, doesn't even know. Uh, what's going on? Uh, and then I guess we cut to after they've told him everything? Because uh, the next line is a Lao line. Oh, is that right? I'm assuming this is after uh, CL's told him the whole story. Or at least as much of the stories he's uh, willing to tell. Did you not already say that this was the young master's biggest crisis? That's uh, Sebastian. So what will you do now? We have a mind to grow, go abroad, compose ourselves, and develop a plan. Germany was the initial desti destination. To Mr. Chubby's place, hmm? We have an image of a uh, Diedrich on, on the page. Yes. Hmm. Why not be bold and venture to a country where no one knows you? Say, India or China. Uh, Mayrin is, like, shaking. We're, we're not traveling for pleasure. Um, and Ciel looks down. I think he's thinking about Agni when uh, India was brought up. India would be ideal for spreading your wings and unwinding. I'm sure that prodigal prince and company would put, would put you up at would put you up at the palace. Uh, and that absolutely, like, tr um, triggers CL's, like, shame. Uh, I guess? I'm assuming CL knows that real CL was the one who killed so uh, killed Agni, I mean. Um, going by, the, like, the context, uh, especially, like, the, the candy in my tummy bit from 128 all those months ago. Uh, anyway, Prince Soma is... Uh, should you decide to come to China, I'll look after you. You can all work at my enterprise. You'd be most welcome. Could be a good chance to master Chinese cookery. Uh, and Sebastian, never one to uh, let a uh, dig pass him by. You have yet to master simple English dishes. Come on, I'm trying to look at the bright side. <laughs> master Cook is right. Why not change your names and faces and start a new life? But, um... With your skill, sorry, there was a word, there was like, Ron Mao said like, eat here, and it's not that important, so I don't know why I paused so long at it. With your skills, you all can survive anywhere. I see no reason for you to be so fixated with England. Um, and, um, fuck. Finian and Snake, um, kind of like, look and, I don't know, a bit of, bit of shame, I guess? I don't know. Uh, and Sebastian looks. Uh, Ron now continues to try to get uh, CL to eat. Maybe there is something important there. Leaving everything behind and fleeing is a valid option, you know. Uh, and then some sound effect happens. Oh, and CL, like, slams his hand on the meat. The chicken, I think. I think it's a chicken. And he picks it up. Huh? And he rips into it, into it with his mouth. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, just... Tearing down all the food at the table. Uh, Ron Mao just, like, comments, Disgusting. Y young master? What's the ma- And he slams the bowl down. Ah, Quiet! How dare he come back now? See how Phantom Hive is I, my arse! The queen conferred the title of Earl to me. She restored the estate to me. I carried out, I carried out all of the irritating duties that fall to a lord. I'm the queen's watchdog. No one realized I was an imposter these three years. But the minute the real thing showed up, everyone turned their backs on me. 
Uh, g- good on Seattle. Holy shit. I'm, Seattle has been holding it all in these past... I guess it's really only been like an hour or two in the real in in universe, but it's been like a year and a half for us. And good God, is the cathartic little speech right here. Uh, and he, like, he stops on the table, you know, breathing heavily. I'm not CL, but Earl CL Phantom Hive is I. And he like puts his hand to his chest. Uh, and Sebastian looks at him in shock. Uh, and Lau starts clapping for him. Excellent. That's what I wanted to hear. This is the Earl I signed up to do business with. Looks like I won't need to repair an escape vessel. Like hell I'll run. I'll fight. I'll take on the ghost of my brother that's arisen from his grave. And then, my estate. My manor. And the title of Earl Fa- Earl Steel Phantom Hive. I'll take it all back for myself. Yes, my lord. Now that we have decided on a course- And uh, Sebastian stands up. Now that we have decided on a course of action. May I have a word? Hmm? And he grabs um, CL by his cheeks. Your table manners are a travesty, young master. To be continued. Okay. So this was, I checked the page count before we started. This was like a, this was like 28 pages of actual story stuff, though I think it's only like 26. But that's still more than Butler's been giving us for months. Uh, actual progression-wise, though, it was a necessary beat, you know, uh, still, it's still a monthly series with only one story beat. Uh, my series activated. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, uh, it, but it was a damn good, like, the moment where CL just snapped. This whole, like, last five or six pages, incredible. Incredible shit. Like, from CL picking up the chicken to the end, oh, good god, good shit, good shit all around. My boy, ready to, like kick some ass, get his throne back, or as much of an Ur- as an Earl can have a throne. What does an Earl have, actually? It's not a throne. Is it a chair? Do Earls just have chairs? I don't know. I don't know. But, but whatever it is, CL wants his back. Uh, and good lord, is he gonna get it. Um, but yeah, this was a standout fucking chapter. Uh, the, big, the first, like, 20 pages went alright, you know? It was some important shit. Uh, Lao, you know, manipulating his way through things. Uh, as Lao is wont to do. Um, but, you know, it was good, but not great uh, for the first, like, 20 pages or so. Of course, as I called last month, Lao was not there to um, to turn our heroes in. He is interested in a much more long-term debt, um, or CL's debt to him. Um, but, yeah, then there's just this phenomenal sequence of... You know, first CL like slamming down all the food, and then he finally lets all of his feelings out. How dare he come back now? CL Phantom Hive is I my arse. I fucking love that line. Um, yeah. Oof. What a great. I, I love also like normally CL's hair is like really you know neat and like tidy, um, and then we have this shot. You know, Earl CL Phantom Hive is I. At the end of his long rant. And his hair is just a fucking mess. And it looks phenomenal. Oh god. This was a great chapter. Uh, yeah. E- everything beforehand was kind of like blotted out. By that great CL speech at the end. Uh, as CL gets ready to take back his. Earldom. Uh, for lack of a better word. Uh, looks like we're not. Though it does look like we're not going to get to see Diedrich. Uh, as our revenge plan is going to start off. Right away. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to wait till the new year for that, 2019 coming up at you real soon. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter as much as I did and the video. If you did, feel free to join me a like or subscribe or fill up that straw poll down below, please. Or, you know, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, keep kicking ass and I'll see you in the future. Bye!